Jesus. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's good, huh? Free for all, I'm guessing. Yeah. Just exploded. <laughs> What's it? Improper what? placement. Oh, it has to be placed next to a tube. Oh, do you have to actually build a tube first? Yeah, or there's there's tubes sitting there as well. Oh, interesting. Oh, so it doesn't build the tubes when you. Um, I can't remember. There he is. I was trying to figure yeah, out where yeah, my miner was. Okay. Oh, it does. It just won't let you build with the idea of them being there eventually. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, that's okay. Not like a real tube system. How do I do research? research yet. Oh, okay. Okay. The only things I really got, got working was the, like, building structures and mining. Well, okay. Mining. Yeah, I can see the, the mining had to be pretty difficult. Yeah, it's, it's complicated with triggers for sure. But I got his work. That's pretty amazing that, like, those are the actual textures from the game. I just, it's on a plane now instead of, you know, when I used to deal with uh, what was it when Postal 2 came out and I was a part of a development team I worked with a dude who loved making high res textures and stuff I don't think so. These I don't like typically. Into... Oh, really? They actually put him into Postal 3 as a shop. Nice. So crack shack. Mining location I have to survey. turn down the volume and then accept it. How annoying. <laughs> oh, Vehicle ready. Places will go. Vehicle ready. What actually does do the I mean, the animations in this are a lot smoother than I figured they would be. Yeah. They're not perfect because I know, like, the cap's supposed to detach from the. Uh, from the trailer for the cargo truck. Yeah. I think I was gonna have to make, like, a separate. model or something to do that, so I just never did. It's understandable. There's a bunch of stuff that never got done. I started this back at 2000 and like 11 or something. <laughs> and I finally like, I opened up the actual file. It still opened up like seven years later. Yeah. Did some more stuff. 
Like the ground textures, those are actual textures from the game. I don't know what's wrong with the orange sand. It was fine, and then I don't know what I did. I screwed it up. It's all like super bright. But, Interesting. Yeah, that is the actual mud texture, and then. Cool. Texture as well, just from the game and imported and used. To, you put it on a brush and start up there. I mean, it, how much? How many hours of work did it take you to even just import all the stuff in here? Because I can't imagine it was easy. I mean, I had some stuff. There were some. Um, there were some models available in the forums that someone had made back in 2007. Oh really? And so like the they had a bunch of Eden stuff. I'm like, okay, I'll start with that. Like, all, they made all the Eden stuff. I made the command center. We made the command center, the robo surveyor, the robo miner, the mine, and earth worker. I made all that stuff myself. And the links too. But everything else was like there. I just, you know, threw a real quick crappy texture on top. Yeah, when I was talking to one of the other guys, I was like, man, if I'd ever won the lottery, or in a couple of years once I actually have my house paid off, I'd be like, one thing I would totally love to do would be to, like, pay a team to actually spend the time and money to, to remaster this game. But, uh, gosh, I can't remember who... What was that I was talking to? He was basically like, what you should do is you should just make another game inspired by Outpost 2 yeah, okay. from scratch. It was like, successor. exactly. I was like, hey, you know what? That's probably a better idea. Because, I mean, that's what, um. Oh, gosh, I can't remember what the team was. It's whoever made the Outer Worlds. They used to be on a team, and they didn't go the way that they wanted to, so they eventually left, started their own team, and then created the game Outer Worlds. I don't know if you've heard anything, have you ever heard of a uh, planetary annihilation film? That was a big piece of trash. Total annihilation? Uh, planetary annihilation. Oh, planetary annihilation. No, I haven't heard of that thing. one. It was based on total annihilation, or it was also based on spring thunder. Um, but they like, they built the game, and they never like balanced it properly, or like fixed enough stuff. And they, and they went straight from that to making an expansion for it. I'm like, what? Mm. They an expansion to a game that's broken. Well, the downside is, is a lot of things are disappointing now. Like, I was super hyped up about um, No Man's Sky. Oh, and then it basically, basically screwed over everyone. And now I see it pop up every once in a while like right now it's on sale half off and i'm like no it doesn't even deserve half my money once it's 40 percent or i'm um, once it's 60 percent or more on sale i'll buy it but i refuse to buy any more before that <laughs> Yeah, I, I remember. I think it was. I never. I never bought it, but I remember there were some streamers or YouTubers talking about like day one launch. There was two streamers on the same exact. Somehow they got the same seed, right? They're on the same exact planet. At the oh same yeah, exact yeah. Time, standing, should have been standing right next to each other. No. Well, the problem was, is there were, there were, there were actually no seeds. That that was the big problem. <laughs> Basically, the original universe was the same. As, as much as people, as much as they were like, oh, it's all procedurally generated, the problem is, is you're running the same, like you said, seed. So it, it's, it's not changing enough. It's not different enough. But yeah, I remember them talking about being like, well, I mean, it'll, it'll be really hard for you to run across another player. And I'm like, 
Don't you tempt want. people. They you, they yeah. will find a way. <laughs> Life finds a way. Already. I don't know, it's just something about Outpost 2 that's captured my attention since, you know, like, way back. I was a little kid. Yeah. And I was just, I keep coming back to it. It's just, like, the immersion of the music and just the way everything looks. It's just there's something very special about it. it to be... I I feel like it was really well built. A lot of people, I know a lot of people on the developer side of it were like, Oh, this is trash, that's trash. And I'm like, yeah, but you're only seeing the bad. Like I mentioned earlier, you can install this on Windows 10 and it will run. I have over 30 games from back in the Outpost 2 days and not a single one of them will run without a shit ton of work. Yeah. Like, it, it just, it blows my mind when people are like, oh yeah, it, it's shit. I'm like, it's not shit, it's actually a lot better than people give it credit for. But, you know. I know multiplayer is like fucked up or whatever, and it's like, well, you know, how long would it really take to fix that? If you, you know, yeah, really but you, you also. Be able to grow the community back up and have yes. start getting a lot more games going and be able to have control over the engine and be able to change stuff. You know? Well, the big thing is having a community. Because if you don't have a community, then there's no point in doing any of the balancing because you don't want to spend the time and money on it. I remember playing the game back in the day and the community was always small. I think the most I've ever seen on the servers or on the WoW. Was the WoW? I can't remember. One, that's what it was. The, the most I'd ever saw at one point in time was like 20. And I'm like, you, you can't really do anything like that. And then back in those days, I was like, oh, or I, or I could go to, you know, Tribes 2 and I can see 400 servers online, all of them completely full of people. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, the, I think what happened is StarCraft 2 came out like, came out like six months after this did, but just killed it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, I mean, Blizzard had a, a much bigger community backing it. I, I, I'm so glad they finally saw the light. They made their own. They made the official Discord. Even I have my own. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I think it's kind of stupid that they only have one channel. But I guess it's because they're still like desperately hanging on to that IRC they got. Who is? Sorry. Oh, that outpost people, outpost universe. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah like... Well, I'm on, I'm on both discords. <laughs> There's yeah. two of them. I don't know who the other people are, but they're not the same people. Which I find, find kind of hilarious. Is it the one that has videos and stuff about this? Is like a channel about this? About um, I don't know if the other one has channels or not. To be perfectly honest. Uh, okay. Let's see, Outpost. Oh no, yeah, Outpost 3 Development, Outpost 3 Testing, yeah, that's Outpost. The one I made. That's the one you made. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm in both of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know why they, well, I know why, you know, they, they want to seek it with IRC. You know, the only way to really do that is to only have one channel. But... Yeah. Well, and the IRC broke and they haven't bothered trying to fix it since, so. Yeah. Well, I think. Thank God we're past the days of Skype and what else? Uh, oh, 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 Skype and. You remember Roger Skype. Wilco? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah, before the dames of TeamSpeak and Ventrilo, there was Roger Wilco. Oh god. The sound quality was so bad. <laughs> Structure kit manufactured. Vehicle ready. Structure kit manufactured. Oh, interesting. But, you know, a project like this is gonna, you know, it's gonna draw interest from a new crowd. Yeah. You know, they're doing the Vehicle Outpost ready. 1 remake. It could be cool. I never really played Outpost 1, but, I mean, I guess it could be I, interesting. I think I tried it once. Yeah, I think I somehow installed it. 
Vehicle ready. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what it is. Vehicle ready. No, I, think, I think I open sourced this when I gave up on it, but no one seems to care. Yeah. But whatever. For me, I I would love to get back into it. I haven't done programming in so many years, yeah, but my big problem is that I'm going to have to relearn everything. But also, I just don't have the time for it. But, you know, outside of this, there's also an uh, Open Outpost 2 project that people are working on. And I oh yeah, I heard about that. I got invited to that, and uh, kind of took over, because, I don't know. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, don't blame them. No. Mining locations. So there's, there's like, there's still one guy, with, like, we talk every week, and we're just like, okay, we gotta get something done. Structure confusion. Doesn't matter how small it is, you just gotta try to get something done. That's really what it's all about, yeah. is I tried, uh, when I was working with the, the group to make Apocalypse Weekend, I, I told them, like, yeah. Yes, there's no quote-unquote deadline, but what you need to do is you need to give yourself a deadline. Yeah, I'm sure we'll never get done. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Especially considering we were actually planning on making money with that. With, with, with doing this kind of stuff, it's like, could you even make money off of it? Because technically it's open, but Activision does have really fancy lawyers, and if they really wanted to, they could make our lives a living hell. Well, it's a copyright sandwich, you know? It's, it's, you take, now that we know that Activision does need uh, these assets, and just... Vehicle ready. You know, you know, ready. Why is it showing the dog? No. You know, they own these assets, but you're putting it in another game that they also own, so what are they gonna... Like Blizzard said before that you can get, like, raw models and put in Warcraft Vehicle and Vehicle ready. Or, yeah, but did you, you you heard the huge stink when Warcraft 3 Reforged happened, right? Oh, uh, they, they, they own whatever they need to make. Yes. Vehicle ready. Vehicle ready. And it's for good reason, because they were in a legal Vehicle battle ready. with uh, Dota when it came out, and that's why it's called Dota 2 now. <laughs> And you know what Dota 2 is? A pile of garbage for me. I I ended up falling in Well, it's it it's it screwed them over in the beginning. And unfortunately, at least the the group of people when League of Legends was created, uh, that split apart was League was they wanted it to be fast, but they also wanted it to take at least fifteen minutes. Where Dota it was like, no no no, I want this to to last like four hours. <laughs> And it's like, I mean, I'm all for playing Dota, but I don't got like four hours, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, see, Blizzard kind of perfected that because Warcraft 3 and Starcraft, Starcraft 2, it's all like half hour games. You know? Yeah. And if you start going past an hour, it's like, oh, well, well, okay. But you play something like Civilization or something, and it's like seven, eight hours. Like, well, like, it is, yeah. It's just like, what? I, d I tried doing a multiplayer with somebody on Civilization, yeah. and I think after hour three, I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> you could just kill me now. Oh my god, they brought back, like, the play-by-email or whatever. It's like, it's like, <laughs> that's not I so remember. Stuff, but they were like, you can, like, do sessions, so you can do, like, yeah. one turn a day, and it's like, oh yep. my god, it took, a, it took a whole year, we were still in the Stone Age, like, no, I, I used to play another game before Civilization came out that was called uh, Conquest of a New World, and I used to play that by email with a friend. And I'll never forget, I, I think when we got to like turn 500, it took like 20 minutes for the computers to do all of their turns. Like, I had to be the one who was just before the computers because if he did it on his computer, it just wouldn't do it. <laughs> Because <laughs> there was just so much assets in the game by that point in time. 
and I was running at a 1 gigahertz Intel Pentium 3, baby! Oh, yeah. Uh, I I had my first SSD and I made it my boot drive as for you know it was 120 gigs. I think it cost me like a hundred dollars. All right, I think it's time. <laughs> I really like the laser animation. I like how, how they also move. Yeah, yeah. Like, Base is under attack. I took the uh... Yeah, it's, it's like a Colossus laser or something, but it, like, Base. in order to get it's like that, you have to take the, you have to take the weapon away, and get back. Oh, really? Interesting. If you watch the unit, you can see the weapon from, like, being taken away, and get it back. Otherwise, it just sends out a, a solid stream. Base. Ah. Uh. Well, I mean, it is a laser, I guess. It kind of makes sense. Yeah. But, I mean, if you don't, like, toggle it like that, it'll just be a solid. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, people want to work on this, whatever. I definitely think that they have to open out post two uh, project is much more promising because yeah. that engine, like, you, you could get a, you, you could branch off of it or whatever. Yeah. And you know. Multiplayer builds it and all works, you don't have to worry about setting any of that up. It's got a big, like, big Discord, a big community of people. You know, if you get stuck, really? they can help you. Yeah. There's, like, how how big is it? Seriously? Wow. Yeah, but there's all these different mods, they have tons of resources and stuff. Like, they'll. If you, and if you need, like, they've said, like, because they, you know, there's some people who use the engine and they're the, they're the, the hard coders who don't do anything. But the hard coders will come out of the woodworks and, like, they'll hard code you stuff that will go along and you know, need it. Like, Interesting. Stuff that's not too. Huh. And they said, oh, yeah, we'll help you with that. That's pretty cool. And it's such it's such a smaller file because goddamn oh, StarCraft 2 like 70 gigs or some shit now. It's ridiculous. I know. <laughs> When I was talking to somebody who was like, why do I need gigabit internet speed now? And I'm like, you, you don't need gigabit internet speed for gaming. You need it to download the patches because now a game file is what, like 200 to 300 gigs? Oh my god, what was it? Warzone? Call of Duty Warzone yeah. was like 150. I was like, really? Yeah. Oh, it shoots the, the pipes too? Oh, oh, interesting. Not something I would expect to happen, but I guess that makes sense because it is technically a, an attackable object. Is that because you can't build something that's not attackable? Like the creep? Hmm. Is under attack. Yeah. The biggest things I did was the kit system and my. Like, I tested the shit out of mine. I only run for like seven hours one time. Like, we'll go yeah. like, oh, you harvested half a million ore. I'm like, I must have been running mine that whole time. Nice. That's what, that's I was going to say, is there a max, or did you remove the max just to see how far it would go? Oh, I think I like lost connection balance. Uh huh. 
mining back in the day when I first started the project like 2011. The mining was like, uh, oh, okay. thanks. So He's back like right. 10 years later, I'm like, oh, we just you know, it's close to the I learned a lot more. Yeah. Do you do programming for your day job? No, I work for the Postal Service. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a cable technician by day. No, it's for one of the behemoths. Um. <laughs> better to be a better be a part of the the bad group than yeah. to be taken over by one. Oh wow, there is actually winning. Nice. Career totals? Oh, cool. Oh, can we play multiple games? Is that why? Yeah, it's supposed to bank. It's supposed to use banks to store your stats. Cool. Should try to get six people in here. You know, it's pie chart. Yay, we're almost pie chart, right? But yeah, I definitely think output, the open outpost, uh, the open outpost uh, project is. A better prospect because it's so much easier for people to download and to work on. And, you know, yeah. Because you just take stuff from the game and shove it in there. This is like, oh, you gotta model it, you know, new code, whatever else. Right. We'll gotta see. basically start from ground zero. But, you know, if we could you start to read, and having the official Discord is a, a, good, uh, a good step towards that, but if we can start to rebuild the community and get more people involved, you know. Because it's been on the brink a couple times in the last 10 years. It's like, whoa, it's been like a year and no one said a single thing. Like, Yeah, it gets a bit ridiculous. Oh my god, I... Sierra Games still has a website? No, that's... That has yeah. to be somebody else. This is the discussion group. But, yeah, I mean, if you're interested in helping out with whatever or want to get, get a game with six people or something, let me know. Definitely. That's a lot of fun. Also, if you want me to send you that the like latest version of the Open Alpha Two project, I can do that too. Yeah, I was trying to look for it on the internet, but yeah, it doesn't seem... it's we have a website. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not the one who runs the website, so. but I have the latest version. So. Yeah, I definitely love to take.